Tornadoes are mysterious and destructive. They appear instantly, tear through landscapes with unimaginable power, and vanish. Were you aware that tornadoes differ in appearance? Their shapes show the storm's force, life cycle, and menace. Some are delicate, twisting threads, while others are gigantic wedges that swallow everything. Because tornado shapes indicate force, understanding them is fascinating and important. We simplify every tornado shape in this video, from the tightrope tornado to the massive wedge and even some uncommon variations you may have never heard of. We'll examine what makes each variety special and why scientists and storm chasers study their shapes. Stay till the end for unexpected tornado formations. Rope Tornado the first and perhaps most well-known tornado shape is the rope tornado. These tornadoes look exactly like their name suggests, a long, thin, twisting rope hanging from the sky. Rope tornadoes are usually seen during the very early or very late stages of a tornado's life cycle. They can be extremely narrow, sometimes only a few dozen yards across, giving the impression that they are weak or harmless. But don't let appearances fool you. Some rope tornadoes have produced winds strong enough to match the destructive power of EF4 tornadoes, which means they can easily rip apart buildings, uproot trees, and hurl debris through the air like missiles. Their slender snake-like appearance makes them visually striking, and storm chasers often capture stunning photographs of these tornadoes. But the danger lies in their deceptive size. A rope tornado may look small compared to larger funnels, but if you're in its path, it can be just as deadly as any other type. Cone Tornado When people think of the classic tornado, what they usually picture is the cone tornado. This type is narrow at the top, near the cloud base, and widens toward the ground, creating the perfect funnel shape. Cone tornadoes are fairly common and often appear when a storm is reaching maturity. Unlike the thin rope tornado, cone tornadoes are usually broader at the base, which means they cover a wider area and cause more widespread destruction. Because of their distinct, easy to recognize shape, cone tornadoes are often easier to track and spot from a distance. For storm chasers and meteorologists, this makes them less tricky than smaller funnels. But for communities in their path, they remain a very real danger. Cone tornadoes often signal that a storm has gained strength and organization, which is why they are taken very seriously when spotted on radar or by trained weather observers. Stovepipe Tornado We reached the stovepipe tornado in intensity and magnitude. Like its name, this tornado looks like a big stovepipe fell from the sky. Tall, straight, and relatively uniform in width. Unlike the cone, the stovepipe is thick and solid due to its lack of taper. Strong organized systems often cause stovepipe tornadoes. They can stay on the ground longer than rope or cone tornadoes and do substantial damage because to their vast base and stability. The gusts from these storms may damage homes, flip cars, and convert everyday objects into deadly projectiles. The 2013 Oklahoma El Reno tornado, the widest tornado in history, was a stovepipe tornado. At its apex, it was 2.6 miles wide, looking more like a dark wall than a funnel. Wedge Tornado Wedge tornadoes scare even the most experienced storm chasers. Wedge tornadoes are so large they resemble black clouds rather than funnels. A wedge tornado must be at least as wide as it is tall, and these giants can often be over a mile across. Almost all wedge tornadoes are violent. They often accompany EF4 and EF5 storms, which can flatten neighborhoods, destroy concrete foundations, toss vehicles for miles, and strip trees bare. Their magnitude makes them dangerous since they are hard to flee and leave damage trails several miles wide. One of the worst wedge tornadoes hit Joplin, Missouri in 2011. One of the worst tornadoes in US history, it killed 158, and caused billions in damage. When storm chasers declare, it looks like a wedge, you know it's life-threatening. Multi-vortex tornado. As if a single tornado weren't enough, some storms produce multi-vortex tornadoes. These are fascinating and terrifying at the same time. Instead of one solid funnel, a multi-vortex tornado contains several smaller funnels, called suction vortices, that rotate around the main circulation. Each of these smaller whirls can pack incredible force, 
sometimes even stronger than the parent tornado itself. This phenomenon explains why damage from these tornadoes often looks so uneven. One house may be completely demolished, while the neighboring home is left almost untouched. That's because one suction vortex passed directly over the destroyed home while missing the other. Multi-vortex tornadoes are a reminder of how unpredictable and chaotic these storms can be, making them especially dangerous to people on the ground. Satellite Tornado A satellite tornado is another unique form. This type of tornado develops near a much larger, stronger tornado and rotates around it like a moon orbiting a planet. Unlike multi-vortex tornadoes, satellite tornadoes are entirely separate funnels, although they form from the same powerful thunderstorm. Satellite tornadoes are often smaller and weaker than the primary tornado, but they can still cause significant destruction. What makes them particularly dangerous is the fact that they can strike while people are focused on the main tornado, catching communities off guard. For storm chasers, seeing two tornadoes close together is both rare and awe-inspiring. But for those in their path, it doubles the threat. Water spout tornadoes don't just happen on land. When they form over bodies of water, they're known as water spouts. These tornadoes can occur over oceans, lakes, or even large rivers. They often look spectacular, spiraling down from storm clouds to touch the water's surface. There are two main types of water spouts. The first is the fair weather water spout, which tends to be weaker and forms in calmer conditions. The second type is the tornadic water spout, which is connected to severe thunderstorms and can be just as destructive as a land tornado. While weaker water spouts might only pose a threat to small boats or swimmers, stronger ones can flip ships, damage coastal structures, and even move inland, causing damage on land. Florida and parts of the Mediterranean are known for frequent water spout activity, where they often become popular subjects for dramatic photographs and videos. Land spout closely related to water spouts are land spouts. These look very similar to rope tornadoes, but form in a different way. Land spouts don't require a rotating supercell thunderstorm to develop. Instead, they form when small ground level rotations or spin ups are stretched upward by a developing storm. Because of this, land spouts are usually weaker than traditional tornadoes and often fall in the EF0 to EF1 range. That said, they can still cause injuries, damage light structures, and toss debris around. What makes them tricky is how suddenly they can appear. Unlike supercell tornadoes, which can sometimes be predicted with radar, land spouts often form with little to no warning, making them dangerous to anyone caught nearby. They are especially common in regions like Colorado and parts of the Great Plains, where wind conditions at the surface can trigger these quick spin-ups. Gustnado Another curious tornado-like feature is the gustnado. Short for gust front tornado, a gustnado is a small whirlwind that develops along the leading edge of a storm's outflow boundary. Unlike typical tornadoes, gustnados aren't connected to the storm's cloud base. Instead, they spin up near the ground as cold outflow air collides with warmer air at the surface. Because they're not truly connected to the parent thunderstorm, meteorologists debate whether they should be classified as real tornadoes. Still, gusts can pack enough wind to damage trees, knock over fences, and toss around lightweight objects. They are usually short-lived, lasting only a few minutes, but they often catch people by surprise because of how fast they form. Each tornado is unique and has a story. These shapes show nature's most ferocious storms, immense force and variety, from the delicate rope twister to the gigantic wedge, from water spouts whirling over the ocean to fire whirls erupting from burning forests. Understanding these forms can help communities and scientists plan, predict, and respond to storms, not merely satisfy curiosity. If you like learning about tornadoes and want to see more videos on world secrets, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol to never miss an upload. Stay safe, curious, and see you in the next video.